Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Kentucky Fried Dice. This is Jilly, and this is my first ever solo stream. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here with you today. Um, if you didn't know, today is Giving Tuesday, and I have just realized my game capture isn't working, so just a second. Um, hmm. Let's see if that helps. Nope. Okay, I'm working on it. Hey, Katie. Hey, Susan. Hey, Burger Bun. Thank you all for joining us. Um, I am trying to figure out why my game capture isn't showing up, but, um, anyways, I was saying, uh, it is giving Tuesday and, uh, so lots of organizations all over the country are asking you for their, for your money. Um, and I definitely encourage you to find an organization that you care a lot about, um, that their mission speaks to you and give generously if you're able to, um, certainly understand that this is an unprecedented year. And lots of us aren't able to give because, you know, things look different. But if you are, that means it's even more important to be able to give um, if you have the means this year. And so um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about one of my favorite organizations, Glean Kentucky. I am on the board. I'm actually the board chair this year. Um, and we are a grassroots organization here based in Lexington, but we serve lots of Kentucky. Um, and we harvest unused produce, um, from farmers markets, orchards, farms, uh, grocery stores, Costco even, um, and we redistribute it to community, um, community organizations who feed people in need. And so we're solving two problems with one solution. Uh, are the two problems are food waste, 40% of food is wasted, and food insecurity. One in six Kentuckians experience food insecurity. Um, and so we're trying to minimize both of those um, and make sure our neighbors have what they need. Um, Hey, honey, um, I actually need you to come upstairs um, because the game capture isn't working and I don't know how to fix that. So this is my first solo stream. So you all get to learn alongside with me um, as I struggle. <laughs> um, I thought I knew what I was doing, but um, it turns out I don't. So um, I'm going to need some assistance, so, some tech assistance. Um, so thank you. <laughs> Here comes my knight in shining armor. Um, it says game capture here, but it's it's not on there. I don't know how to do it. Sorry, y'all. I thought I tested everything, but um, I didn't test this part, I guess. So, um, hey, Celestial. Hey, me handlebars. Thank you all for joining us. Hey, me handlebars. If you want to come over and give me some IT assistance, uh, <laughs> I'm sure Donald will get it going. Um, I just panicked and didn't know what to do. Um but he is excellent and is here to help. Um, but yeah, so I want to tell you a little bit about Glean Kentucky. We actually are celebrating our 10th anniversary this year. Um, and so uh, we had all kinds of amazing things planned to celebrate that awesome anniversary. Um, and then of course COVID happened. So we weren't able to celebrate in the way that we wanted, but we did celebrate by continuing to do our good work. <laughs> Yay, thank you. <laughs> um, he is a good man. Um, so we did, um, celebrate by continuing to do the good work, um, of harvesting that produce. And we actually hit 2 million pounds, uh, gleaned over the 10 years. We hit two, 2 million pounds this year, which is just incredible. So all of that is food, perfectly edible food that would have gone to the landfill. And instead it got in to the hands of people who needed it here in Kentucky. Um, we also celebrated by actually expanding into South Central Kentucky. Um, so we now have a field coordinator based out of Bowling Green who hit the ground running, is doing amazing work, and is really going to make um, so much progress next year. And we're very excited about that. Um, and so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we're very lucky. And yes, Donald did some very quick tech work. Probably if I wasn't also trying to talk, I might have been able to figure it out myself. But luckily, I have Donald to help me out um, with those things. So I think I might have accidentally muted um, my Stardew stream. Can you all hear the Stardew music? Not that one. I don't know. We'll find out. You let me know 
Um, <laughs> if, uh, oh yes, fail trombone. So, so true. Um, so we are going to play, can, oh, <laughs> uh oh, Donald lost his phone somewhere, probably while he was playing with the dogs on the floor. Um, I don't see it in here. Uh, I'm going to get a new game started. So if you're not familiar, oh, there's the music. If you're not familiar with Stardew Valley, it is a farming simulator. And, uh, it is one of my favorite... Okay, I, the music just clicked on. I think I had had Stardew pulled up for so long that it stopped playing music. Um... Is the game sound a good level now? So you get to name yourself, pick out, you know, your character. I'm going to do that here. Um, I'm going to name my farm Glean, Kentucky. Oh, it's too, too long. I'm just going to name it Glean. Um, yeah, don't you love, I, I love the background music. Um, my favorite thing is pie. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you all for helping me with that. Um, I get to, you know, customize anything I want. Um, it's kind of funny though. It has those like old school pixels. So really it's hard to, um, it's hard to, uh, tell like what exactly it is you're customizing. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to lighten up my hair a little bit. I'm going to make my pants a different color, you know, just all the fun stuff. Yes, I am growing pies. Exactly. <laughs> oh, is there a name gen generator? I can make a blue person. How do I do that? I always feel like I can't really tell what I'm changing. Oh, I see. I can change here. Okay. Ah, here we go. What hair do ooh, is that a mohawk? I definitely I have always always wanted a mohawk. Um yeah, if you all if you redeem points for a name generator, I will name myself whatever you would like me to name myself. I have like literally always in life wanted a mohawk. I'm gonna turn down the sound just a little bit because it's pretty loud for me. Y'all let me know how that sounds for you. Um, if that's too quiet for you, let me know. But, um, there's so many options here. Oh, I see now where I can change that. Oh, but then it might not let me have a mohawk. All those little, like, pigtail things were pretty cute. No, I want to have a mohawk. We don't, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to bend to, to gender stereotypes. How do I feel about meatball? I love meatballs. <laughs> oh, and I got to change my animal preference to a doggy dog. Let's see. There's three different dog options. I think I like this one with the with the little ears. Okay. I'm naming myself Meatball. That's fair. Good job, chat. Okay, now here's the hard. Which dog? This is dog number one with the cute little floppy ears. Dog number two with the straight up and down ears. Or dog number three. So many Meatballs. What would my dog's name be if my name is Meatball? You like dog number two, Burger Bun? You like the pointy ears? Any other thoughts from chat? Hey, Booze Hammer! We are just getting started with Stardew Valley. I'm building my character. Chat has named me Meatball. Now we're picking a dog because blue is not an option, unfortunately. Oh, we could name the dog Spaghetti. We could name the dog Lady. I like it. Alfredo, Marinara. These are all good dog suggestions. I think I'm going to go with his first dog. Because I just like his little ears. The cool thing is there's lots of animals. And so we can name them all throughout.
I'm the grandson. Oh, it's a sealed envelope. Ooh. I love Stardew as well. I know, he's basically sleeping on a cot for his last sleep. Don't open the envelope yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. So true. So true, Grandpa. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Oof, this is deep, y'all. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. <laughs> he really does look like Santa. So here I am in my little cubicle, typey, 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 work, 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 work. So much work. Oh, that person was terminated. That dude has a really cool hat. That dude has a mouse, like a real mouse. Is that me? Is that my mohawk? No. Oh, there's a skeleton there on the right. Overworked, overburdened. Working for the Joja. I know it's very depressing, but also very lifelike. Oh, but I remember. I have a letter. Dear Meatball, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Gleanland Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Yes, there should be a link will be popping up in chat for how to donate to the stream. We did have a really cool donation uh, thermometer going on so we could keep track of the donations. However, Streamlabs literally crashed like 15 minutes ago. Uh, so we were not able to do that. <laughs> if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I sure will, Grandpa. Okay. Yes, I think the grandpa was content in his later life. He had this beautiful farm. And now we've inherited. So here we are on the bus to the farm. Chugga chugga. I like it. Yeah, the corporate scene is really depressing, I feel like. I also believe if you ever need to see the donation link again, you can do exclamation point donate in the chat and it should pop up for you. Oh, there I am. Hello, you must be Meatball. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now tidying things up for your arrival. I love that the local carpenter is a lady. You get it, Robin. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. <laughs> yes, I will follow you. Now I have to say y'all, I have played this game before, but it has been quite some time. So um, I did not remind, I did not like do a practice session. So we're gonna learn together. This is Gleanland Farm. Ooh, oh, I'm scared. I think I would be excited. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. That's gonna be a lot of work. Okay, and here we are, your new home. Thanks, Robin, so nice. Ah, the new farmer. I'm not good at voices, y'all, so it's all gonna be my voice. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. 
You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Excellent. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Okay, listen. We know what happens when someone calls something rustic. That means it's busted. Just like if a realtor calls it charming, that means it's tiny. Without good plumbing. I know. I love everyone in this game as well. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Meatball. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Also rude. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. This game is all about making friends with the locals, and I love that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. That's such a weird system. Well, good luck. Does anyone else have a magic box they just put things in and then they get money from it? I wish. So here's the inside of my cute little house. I'm up for the day. Oh, what is this? How do I... I don't know how to pick it up. Ah, there we go. Oh, I got some parsnip seeds. So nice. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. Such a kind man. So you can also watch the TV... You can get the weather report. The weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Awesome. You can also get the fortune teller. So what does the fortune teller tell us? The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Well, Michelle, he couldn't just give me the pie. Living off the land gives you some little tips to help you learn how to farm. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. That is good to know. Oh, hey, Walks on Legos. Thanks for joining us. So this is like one of the only video games that I play. Um, but it's actually been quite some time since I played. Um, and I really wanted to play today. So I have to kind of decide which... Uh, I think I want my hoe out here. I'm just gonna... No, not my hoe. What do I want? My scythe. That's what I want. There we go. Just get some grass. I really wanted to play this today for Giving Tuesday in honor of Glean. So I talked a little bit at the beginning of the stream. Glean is all about harvesting underutilized and unused produce. So it's really great fruits and vegetables that would just be thrown away because it's not necessarily sellable. It might not be the most beautiful thing or it might just be excess. Um, and so our volunteers and our staff um, go into farmers markets, um, into orchards. We have some really great partnerships with local orchards. Um, go into orchards, farmers, farmers markets, grocery stores, like a lot of the grocery stores around here support us. Um, we collect their underused produce um, and we distribute it to community partners um, who are feeding people. And so it's really great. And I think, you know, this year has come with so many challenges and I was really proud to be a part of Glean Kentucky because not only did we continue our work, um, we actually grew and we pivoted a little bit. Um, we continued to do our same mission, but we also started delivering hot meals um, to families and children in need because, um, because of COVID and because schools weren't in session. Um, and so I actually, that was a volunteer opportunity I was able to take a part of because um, I was working from home. So um, I had the time to do that. And so I was very lucky to be able to pick up meals um, from our partner food chain, prepared hot meals, and deliver them um, 
to a community partner um, who fed her neighbors with them. So it was a really cool opportunity this year, I think, to do even more than our mission. Um, very, very on, on point with what we normally do, um, but just a little something extra. So you'll see I'm kind of just clearing out some fields, um, chopping up some grass and stuff. Um, chop down, I'll have to top, chop down quite a few trees um, as well and break up some of these rocks so that I can put a field here. Um, I also, time actually kind of goes by sort of quickly in this game. So I'm also going to go to town. So you've kind of seen my little, my little uh, house here. I've got quite a bit of land. I'll show you that throughout the night. Um, and yeah, um, the, the link is popping up to be able to donate to Glean. So I've told you a little bit about what we're doing. Um, would love for your support in donating. I was supposed to have a little, a little widget up here telling us, um, the donations, but unfortunately that technology was not working today. The whole website was down. Um, but I will definitely be sending you very nice thank yous if you donate. Um, my overall goal for the end of year is to raise a thousand dollars. I'm not anticipating raising that tonight, obviously, and not even just all through Twitch. I'm going to be on the Facebook. I'm going to be texting people and calling people and um, hoping to get some donations. That's the most I've ever tried to fundraise. Um, but this year we need it more than ever. So I'm, I'm committed to that. So our journal kind of tells you what you need to do. So if I want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. So I need to car cultivate and harvest a um, parsnips. And then I also need to start greeting people. So there's 28 townspeople and I am uh, trying to uh, meet as many of them as I can. Um, and that's a big part of the game. It's like not just meeting people and chit chatting with them, but figuring out what gifts they like and bringing them presents. Um, yes, it was Streamlab issues um, with that as well. Walks on Legos, I believe that... Um, me Handlebars has a Minecraft server. I know nothing of that, but um, I'll pass on the information that I have. So I'm going to just hop into town really quick, just so y'all can see it. So we kind of walk by here. This is the bus stop. This is where um, I got dropped off. Ooh, and it mentioned we need to forage for stuff. So there's different little things that you can pick up. Um, so I just found a wild leak that I can... Um, pick up I can also wherever there are worms you can like hoe them hoe is that a is that a can hoe be a verb in this in this way that's a different thing um but I did find an artifact and I can take it to the museum to see what it is um I usually use hoe in a different context so I'm not sure the the grammar of that um but I'm just gonna keep trekking along go to town I know I love when there's little wormies there it's so cute so here is town. Oh, and here's a new friend. Let's go introduce ourselves. This is Sam. Cool. That was it. Oh, I tried to hoe him. That's rude. So this uh, little announcement board tells you what's happening. It tells you different people's birthdays, so you can make sure you bring them a present. And then there's these little town events that are really fun to go to. So the egg festival um, is in the spring, and then also the flower dance. Oh, hi. This is Marnie. She sells livestock and animal care products at her ranch. That is to the south of us, I believe. Let me run this other person down. Hello, I'm just gonna try and talk to everybody. This is Harvey, the local doctor. Okay, this is Leah. Would you pronounce that Leah or Lee? You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. I believe Lee is who I married last time I played this game. Here's the local store. So yeah, you do you can get married in this game. You must be Meatball, the new farmer. That's me, Meatball. Caroline, my husband runs the general store here and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Okay, cool. She's kind of blocking my way there, Lee. Yeah, I've always said Lee too, but I never know. This is Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overground fields by myself. 
Oh, you can still come over, girl. Uh, so we can buy things. We already have some parsnip seeds. Um, I'm probably also going to buy some beans. Let's see, I have 500 gold right now. So I'm not going to buy... Oh, my inventory's full. Shoot. Okay. We won't buy anything yet. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I married Lee last time because uh, I really liked her hair. <laughs> Um, so you can kind of walk through town and see different, um, houses. Here's the Star, Dro Star Drop Saloon, which is always a fun place to talk to people. And you can come in and you can buy beer, salad, bread. You can buy spaghetti, so that would go good for me since I'm Mila. Oh, yeah, she might be a polygamist for sure. Um, pizza, coffee, hash browns. Oh, you can get recipes for things. So there's all this kind of stuff. Like, so once I'm trying to make friends with people, I will come here and uh, buy people beer. Um, I can visit, Gun this is telling me to visit Gunther at the museum from the little artifact that I found. Um, there's also like different little rooms in here. You can play some of these games. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, I actually totally forgot what you do in here, but I'm sure it's cool. Um, what's back here? It's not for me. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a fun little, it's a fun, um, yes, Michelle, the best way to make friends is buy them beer, obviously, in this game and in real life. Oh, here's an old lady. Let's go talk to her. Is, is it Evelyn, I think? Yeah, Evelyn. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I think I'll stick with Evelyn, but thanks. I don't really like calling people family type names if they're not my actual family. I find it weird. Uh, here's another thing I can forage. A, oh my, I keep forgetting my inventory's full. I gotta go get rid of this. Uh, the day's gonna go by quickly. I'm not gonna have planted anything. I gotta go home and plant stuff. But first, oops. You'll notice I walk around in this game much like I drive, just all over the dang place. Okay. I'm pretty sure... You guys are lucky that I've played this before, otherwise I wouldn't know what to do, but I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah. This is the museum. He says abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. I do gotta get those parsnips in the ground, but I, I will do it after this. I just... There's so many people I want to meet. What's this? You found something. Let me see. Here you go, Gunther. What a good name. It's remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I like that it just takes me out. Okay, yes, I would like to come to the front desk. I'm going to donate to the museum. And then you get to pick what spot it's in, so I'm going to pick this one. And I think you get, like, little trophies and stuff for how much you donate. Okay. See you later, Gunther. Okay. So, that's the cute little town. Uh, I'm not going to show you the beach yet today because i got to get home. i got to plant some parsnips. Oh, did I? Sometimes I, I take the cemetery as a shortcut. I don't think I'm supposed to, though. <laughs> I'm lost. I don't know where I am. <laughs> Yeah, Gunther is very cool. Have I met that person? Is that Caroline? No, that's someone different. She doesn't want to talk to me. Okay, cool. That's life, you know. Oh, look, I found something else to dig up. Ooh, and a new person to talk to. Oh, no, I already talked to Harvey. 
Thank you for explaining to me what a doctor is. Okay, cool. Thanks, Harvey. He's a swell dude, I'm sure. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one who uses the cemetery as a cut through. Because, you know. I don't feel like I ever talked to Harvey or, like, went to the doctor when I played before. So I'm not really sure. Okay. So I like to do my first little my first little flower bed in this area because it's... Um, oh, not there. Face the other direction. Um, it's close to my front door. I'm really bad at all the controls, y'all, so you get to see me struggle. Um, I don't, I'm not a natural video game player, so I just get a little confused sometimes. Like, I have to, like, really think about what I'm doing. It comes natural to a lot of people. Let's just drop some seeds every little where. And just grow my little parsnips. Okay, hold on, let's... Is that how many I had? Yeah, I had two more. Okay, then we got to water them with my little watering can. I like the sound effects. Like, it sounds like water. Kind of makes me have to pee, but, you know. No time. No, no rest for the weary. I got to grow my farm. Okay, okay. That actually didn't take me that long. Um, So I also... Oh, I don't have a trunk. Do I have to build a trunk? Probably. Normally I put like a little, um, I build a little trunk to go here to store my stuff in. Um, oh, I could grow, I, I could plant these mixed seeds that I found. And just see, we don't know what it will be. So that's kind of fun. Mystery growing. Harvey's got weird hours and is a little nerd boy, but he's cute and fun. I can get the toolkit area to show up from your options. That always helps me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, on the red target thing. I really didn't know that was a thing. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, look, it's already getting to be nighttime. I'm going to. I still have some energy, so I'm just going to like. Oops. Ooh, I got some gold for selling some stuff. Or donating, I mean. See? Donating leads to good things in your future, even if you're not expecting it. So don't forget, this is all a charity stream um, for Glean Kentucky. Uh, you can do exclamation point donate in the chat to get the link. Would love for you to donate whatever you can. No gift is too small. Um, and all of that money on this stream goes straight to Glean um, to help them get unused produce into the hands of people who need it. It's a really awesome mission. Um, if you are in Lexington, it's also a really cool volunteer opportunity if you have the time. Um, and even with COVID, they still have volunteer opportunities because um, most of it's outside and you can do it by yourself. Like even if you're, even if you're gleaning a grocery store, you can just go like by yourself um, to Costco and they usually have it set out for you. Um, I keep mentioning Costco. They're not our only grocery partner, but they donate like so much. It's incredible. Um, so I love to give them a shout out. Um, so I can put things in this box to sell. So I'm going to sell this leak. Um, I think like I would keep the rest of this, right? How do I get a box? I need to look that up. Um, close, close the lid. Oops. Okay. I also saw that I got some more seeds. I'm just going to go ahead and plant them because that way they show up sooner. The parsnips only take like four days to grow, which is kind of unbelievable. So I'm going to get in bed. Go to sleep for the night. Oh yeah, maybe those are the china seeds. Maybe I shouldn't have planted those. Maybe I should have just taken them out and eaten them. Apparently people did that because... So you just get your money from whatever you put in the box. I only sold one leak, so I just got 60 gold. But hey, that's something. Okay. Up and Adam, we got another day to go. Yes, I need wood. You're right, I do need some wood. Um, weather report. 
It's gonna rain all day tomorrow, so that's good to know. Um, so the fortune teller, I think, actually tell you that, so they're somewhat annoyed. So I haven't gone to them yet because I still got to get my farm set up. But um, you can go mining in a cave and like, uh, if the spirits are upset, it's more likely that you're going to have monsters to fight. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Thanks, Pierre. Oh, is there another letter? Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Oh, Willie. I love Willie. Wood for sheep. <laughs> I love the little fisherman, Willie. So we will definitely visit him today. But first, we got to be industrious here. We got to um, grow our crops. We got to get them good and watered. <laughs> Michelle says Willie is creepy. He kind of is, but I feel like he means well. Um, okay. I'm going to do some chopping because I think Burger Bun's right. I need more wood to be able to build some, build a trunk to put stuff in. So I'm not always, um, we're just going to chop down this whole big tree right here. Um, Much like in real life, oops, you, I feel like you chop down the main part of the tree, but then you got to keep going and get the stump. Otherwise it's just hanging out there. We would know because we got a big stump. We got several stumps in our backyard because we paid a lot of money for someone else to chop down our very dead trees, which was a sad day all around. Ooh, I also love, um, I'm just going to break some rocks so I can get through here. There's just like so much stuff in the way. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys, I love this cave and later you can grow mushrooms in it or something else, but I like to do the mushrooms. I can't remember what the other thing is. Um, oh yeah. I just saw the night bite reminded us of the merch. Um, we finally got our shirts. I'm wearing one today. Um, after being held hostage by the post office for like a full week um and this is a greenhouse that later we're going to restore as well which is pretty cool um it was held hostage for like a full week and then it was delivered at like 7 a.m seriously this morning okay how do i how do i know what i can build um i don't remember oh I don't remember. Um, oh, Katie got hers too. Yay. Oh, let you see the shirt again. Um, this is, I got the um, women's curvy um, because I normally hate a women's cut shirt because they're way, way too tight usually. Um, so I got the curvy size. It's like a plus size shirt and it is so comfy. It's very soft. Um, I'm totally digging it. And I just got the, the full on logo. Um, so I love it. Yeah, Susan, I have a feeling you ordered the deluxe masks, like the, the, um, ones with a couple layers. And I'm, I'm thinking that maybe those are in higher demand. So they're probably a little bit more delayed. I always just walk up here to see if there's anything to forage because there oftentimes is. Okay. I'm going to go to the beach because Willie told me to, and you know, I got to do what weird men tell me to do that's not that's not my normal mo have i met you who are you jody oh you aren't exactly how i imagined but that's okay i'm jody that's like a really rude way to talk to someone i feel like jody it's a quiet little town so it's very exciting when someone new moves in having a farmer around could really change things okay cool Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. I don't think I remembered that Emily worked at the saloon. Girl, you will see me there. Trust me. Trust and believe. Oh, here's a dude. Alex. Oh, hey, you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Yep. I'll see you around. 
I do always think it's kind of weird that, like, you don't get an option to, um, like, respond. It's just like, okay. Oh, here's the mayor. Let's go say hey. Hey, Louis. How was your first night in this old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. We all complained about his bed, so apparently he did too. You wish you could marry Jody in this game. I think she's already married, right? Oh, I guess my name. I guess if you did know someone named Meatball, there would definitely be some um, expectations. You're right, Michelle. That is a very fair point. I kind of forget how to get to the beach over here. Okay. I know it was somewhere in this general area. You got to cross this little bridge. Oh, here's a little scene. Okay. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Cool. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. That's what she said. <laughs> Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And ma hey, maybe you'll buy something from my shop once in a while. How nice. I love fishing in this game, and I'm so bad at it. You received a bamboo pole. Cool. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. <laughs> Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. <laughs> uh, so funny. Well, Katie, Willie wants to tell you about his big haul, and he wants to tell you that if it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's so gross. Um, so I am gonna, I'm gonna fish for just a second. I forget. You just, let's see if I remember how to do this. Just chilling, chilling. Oh, I was too late. I also just realized that my stuff is full. So if I catch a fish, I can't do anything with it. I've really got to go build a thing. I just don't know how to do it. Oh yeah, because I want to pick up this thing. Uh, let's get rid of... Uh... How do I trash it? Eat it? No, I don't want to eat it, the sap. Okay, never mind. I'll come back another day. Oh, there's also this like weird dude who lives down here too, besides Willie. There he is. Hey, Elliot. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, Elliot. I mean, he lives in a cabin by the beach. He seems pretty cool. You're right. Weird was, a, was the wrong thing to say. I think everybody's weird, but I don't necessarily consider that um, a bad thing. Let's see here. I got something else to give to Gunther just to get it out of my inventory. I get some more monies, honeys. <laughs> I'm just gonna donate this little guy. Boom. Okay. Let's see. My journal. I'm still working on the parsnips. I've met 14 of the 28 people. Although we're little kids in there. Is it weird to just go talk to little children? Probably, but I'm going to do it anyways. Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Stranger danger, Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well, you're an idiot. Penny. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Oh, I thought she was one of the kids. Jazz doesn't want to say anything. She just says hi. Okay. Cool. That was fun. 
Okay. Let's see. Have I met him? I don't think so. Oh, yes. I saw Sam before. Nice to see you too. Take it easy. Oops, I'm stuck. Oh, here's another daffodil. Oh, Polly People is raining. Yay. Thank you, Polly. So glad to have you here. So I am playing Stardew Valley um, and loving it. I have played before, but it's been a long time. So I just did another little cut through. This is Marnie's um, little farm as well. Yay for the raid, Polly raid. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. So um, my name is Jilly. I'm part of Kentucky Fried Dice. I'm often here with my husband, Donald. Um, this is my very first solo stream, so it's pretty exciting. And yeah, I am playing um, Stardew Valley. And the reason I'm playing this today is it is Giving Tuesday. And I am on the board of an organization called Glean Kentucky that um, harvests unused produce and gets it to people in need here in Kentucky. Um, and so I thought this was the perfect game because it's all about farming. Um, I thought this was like the perfect game to kind of highlight that mission um, to share with you all. And so there are, um, yay, Polly. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Um, there are... Uh, there's a link in the chat, and if you do exclamation point donate, it'll pop up for you. Um, so if you're interested in donating, of course, would love to have you, but also um, happy to just spread the mission of Glean Kentucky with you um, and the good work that we are doing here in Kentucky. So we, um, our volunteers and our staff um, gather um, produce that is going to go unused. Um and we get it to people in need. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. And so this year is our 10th anniversary for a gra grassroots organization. Um, yep, there's the donate link. Thank you for putting that in there, honey. Um, and yeah, if anyone wants to donate, we, we um, unfortunately, our donation bar is not working today. Um, Streamlabs actually, like literally the whole Streamlabs crashed right before we went online. Um, so did not, um, it's not working the way we, you know, had wanted it to, but that's okay. Um, but I will follow up with you if you donate, I will follow up with you later to tell you, thank you. Wish I could tell you on stream. Um, hopefully we'll fix that before our next one. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share with people about Glean Kentucky. And I think this game is a great way to do that. Um, I am trying to remember how to craft stuff. Um, I don't remember how to do that. Maybe I'm not advanced enough in the game, but I want to build a little box because I don't like carrying so much stuff around. Um, so if anyone in chat knows how to do that. Ooh, I got a geode. Yay. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? I love getting geodes. Um, in your menu. Where is my menu? Uh... I'm like clicking on things in my menu. Here's my journal. It's not there. Ooh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do that. Um, I will figure it out eventually. Hit I. Hit I. Thank you, honey. Is that no? Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, thank you for trying. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm pressing buttons now. You guys can't see it. Oh, there it is. It was maybe, maybe E or R. I'm not sure which one I pressed. Okay, yay, found the menu. Um, so this is where, um, one, you see what your skills are. Two, you see who people are. Oh, and it tells you if they're single. So if like you were thinking about maybe trying to marry someone. Yeah, it's E. You guys are right. Um, you can see who's single. Oh, Harvey the doctor is single. So that's good to know. Lee's definitely single. We know that because lots of people said in chat that they have married her. Um, Abigail is single. I do dig her purple hair. So that's certainly a possibility. Um, I like Emily's blue hair though. So really I'm all about cool hair. Um, 
Yes. Who knows? Um, so many people. I haven't met everyone yet. Um, and this is a little map. So we have not even, I have not showed you everything yet. Um, but there's so much cool stuff to see. Um, and eventually we will get there. Marry a doctor. Yes, that's what my mom said too, but I didn't do it. Um, okay, here's crafting. Here is a chest. So I'm going to build a chest for sure. Um, and that's it. That's all I need. Um, oh, I can grill. I can make some paths. Okay, how do I? So what do I do with it? Oh, so I have too much stuff in my inventory. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I hope I didn't just throw those away. I think I might have. No, there's there's my chest. Okay. I like to put my little chest right there. I also <laughs> just grabbed some torches because I was trying to empty out my inventory. So now I can put all this stuff in here so I don't have to carry it all around with me. Oh, I do want to keep that geode though because I'm going to break it open. Um, I'm going to take it to, I forget his name. Um, click outside the menu box and it'll drop it is which is what you did. Okay. Yes, I do think that's what I did. Um, but I should, so Burger Bun says Harvey is a small town doctor, so he is not making bank, but I should still marry him because she likes him a lot. Um, there's just going to be so many options for me to get married. And, uh, that's one of the things I like about this game is it lets you marry whoever you want. So, um, they don't stick to stupidly prescribed, um, social norms as far as gender expression or... Well, it did, it did make me be a boy to be able to get a mohawk. So I guess they do stick to it a little bit, but, um, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I like that you can marry men and women, no matter who you are. Um, because that's how life should be. Love is love y'all. Um, so yeah, another day down. I feel like I never know what I'm doing. Um, Donald always makes these like really well honed, um, uh, what you call it, um, farms. And I'm just like, I don't know. You're not my mom. Focus on your farming career. <laughs> but I like to make friends, Michelle. Oops. I keep hitting buttons. Sorry, y'all. I'm just, I had a little bit of energy left. I'm almost out of energy though. So I was just trying to like chop some stuff down before I went to bed. But here we go. Betty bye. Good night. I don't think I put anything in the chest, so, um, cause I didn't have anything to put in. Oh, I put in, uh, daffodil or dandelion, something like that. Um, we haven't met Krobus yet, but hopefully sometime soon. Um, so yeah, Tuesday nights normally is KFD and D and then on the off weeks. Ooh, yeah. You can hear the weather. That means I don't have to water. I love when it rains in this um, in this game, because I don't have to water my stuff, but tomorrow it will be sunny. Um, let's see what the fortune teller says. They're very happy today. They will be best to do. Okay. So we got to go to the caves. It's raining. I don't have to water anything. I think it is a good day to go to the caves. What do y'all think? Let me hold on first. Let me put some stuff away. Um, Okay, excellent, excellent. Oh wait, the caves aren't open yet? Yes, I know Tuesdays is Bachelor at Night, so I was gonna say um, I'm only doing this because it's Giving Tuesday, but maybe I'll start playing Stardew like on the weekend or something, um, because I feel like now that I've started it again, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to give it up. Um, so yeah, we'll probably find another time. Um, we will probably find another time to uh, do this. So I'm going to head up here. I haven't showed you all this area yet. This pretty little fountain. I'm just going to forage. There's a playground. I actually forgot that was there. Um, oh, I don't think it'll let me go in here yet, but let's see if it does. It's locked. This is the community center. We'll learn more about that later. I'm just going to keep 
picking things that I can. And I'm going to try and find Linus. I love Linus. He's my favorite, actually. Oh, yeah. And this, I think, is Jody's house, maybe? It's also locked. Oh, it's only like 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> But yes, um, Tuesday nights is normally reserved for watching The Bachelorette with my girlfriends and texting about how ridiculous it is. Um, this is where Linus lives, but I don't want to disturb him because he must because it's raining, so he's in his tent. Um, but here, you're right. The caves are... You cannot get to the caves yet. I totally forgot about that. Um, so eventually we'll be able to go into the caves. But I can do a little fishing. Oh, look at that froggy. That was fun. I got a wild horseradish. I'm just going to get right here into the middle of this pond and fish. It's going to be awesome. Oh, it was Robin's house. You're right. I don't, I kind of get a lot of the people confused in this game. It's been so long since I've played. Okay, you have to click and keep this fish in the little bar. And I'm actually, its a, it must be an easy fish because I'm doing pretty good. I'm normally really suck at this. Um, yay, I got a carp. Woohoo! Boom! And you just wait till you hear that little noise. Oh, seaweed. Or algae. Oh, you can eat the algae for energy and health. I'm going to do that. So, um, yeah, eat it. Uh, just so I have an empty spot in case I catch a different kind of fish. So it's kind of cool. Um, I'm not as, um, I'm not as in tune with everything with Stardew Valley, but like, there are different, like, different times of day, different weather, different places you fish, you're more likely to get different fish. And throughout the game, you're trying to collect a bunch of different kinds. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, and so, like, you know, today where it's raining and it's in the morning, I'm more likely maybe to get carp. I don't really know. But, um, um, but there's some fish that are harder to get. Um, yay! Oh, it's a new record! Is that just for me? I think that's just my record. That's not, like, the biggest carp that's ever been caught. Um... Oh, Polly people, this game is so much fun. So I'm playing on Steam, um, but you can also play like on PlayStation. I think someone mentioned they play it on Twitch. It is really fun and it's really relaxing. Like you have goals, you're trying to accomplish stuff, but you're not, um, but you're also just like living life. You know what I mean? Um, and so I like that a lot. Um, it's a really fun game. Um, I do not actually play a lot of video games. I'm more of a board gamer. Um, but I love this as a video game. Uh, okay. Just trash it. Okay. My inventory's full again. So I might go sell some fish to Willy. Do I remember how to get there? No, but we'll figure it out. Gotta go down here. I like that in this game, as opposed to real life, like, I don't mind being out in the rain. But in real life, I would be like, heck no. I did end up having to leave the house today um, for work. Oh, this is not a path. This just takes you down to the river. Um, so I did have to get out in the snow. But um, once I cleared my car off, it wasn't too bad. Um, but I didn't realize how much snow we had gotten. Like, it was over an inch all over my car. What was it telling me? There was an exclamation point. Oh, no, don't fish there. Good God. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I was trying to read that bulletin board, but I don't know how. You know what? It's lunchtime. I'm going to stop in the saloon and say hello. See what see what's up. Hey, Cure. Thanks for joining us. Oh, should I eat some spaghetti? <laughs> should I get some coffee? There's nobody here to buy anything for. I don't normally eat any of the stuff. I normally just buy it for other people to become friends. Because um, that's, that's how you make friends in Stardew Valley is you give people gifts. Um, 
welcome, welcome. We are playing, or I am playing Stardew Valley today. Uh, today is also Giving Tuesday. Um, so I'm playing to support Glean Kentucky, which is an organization I'm actually on the board of. I'm the, I'm the board chair, actually. Um, and so I help with the leadership of it. Um, no, I want to sell you that and that. Um, oh, you can buy trout soup here. That's very nice. Um, I don't really need any supplies. I just wanted to sell stuff to him. Um, no, I don't like coffee. I, I would never actually, I might as well just like fish while I'm here, right? Um, I personally wouldn't actually drink coffee, but maybe Meatball likes coffee. There wasn't a hot chocolate option, which is what I would really go with. Ah! See, I told you I'm not very good at this, but, um... Oh! No, 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 no! I'm gonna lose it. Dang it. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Um, you know, it can be overwhelming. I actually, I have played this before and that makes it a lot more fun because I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, there's a lot of options though. Um, but I do like that it kind of gives you your journal entries. So even if you just stick with those things, um, you know, it's slower progress, but you can make progress. But I do appreciate actually, um, having played it before. I think it's a more fun playthrough. Ah, shoot. Y'all, I'm really bad at this. I'm going to try one more time. Those carp were easy catching. Whatever this is, is not so much. Um, but yeah, I totally get why it would feel overwhelming. Um, but I think if you tried it again, like if you know a little bit more about the game, um, you might have a more fun experience because I'm enjoying it a little bit more the second time around. Oh, now the fish are onto my games. They're not biting. Ah, Okay. Okay, I got you. Yeah! A herring! Awesome. Cool. I'm just gonna go right in here and just sell it. <laughs> here, buy my herring. Thank you. Bye, Willy. See you later. Is there anything cool? Yeah, okay, I want to get this guy. I love to get an oyster. You can always find really cool stuff at the beach. And again, anytime you see these little worms, you can... Um... Ooh, I found a lost book. That's cool. The library's collection has expanded. So that actually doesn't go into, like, my... Um inventory it just goes straight to the library of course that's lovely love public libraries and librarians um but yeah so we are doing this stream today again in honor and in support of glean kentucky um if you have the means to donate would definitely love your support um because it's an organization that is working to feed people um who are facing food insecurity Oh no, I accidentally stepped on a bug. Oh no. Taking a break. Yep, Lewis. Don't judge me. Um, I think you can actually go into people's houses, but that's kind of weird, so I'm not going to do it. I don't know where I am. Where's the bar? Oh, I overshot it. The bar's all the way over here. I thought maybe since it's past 5 o'clock, people would be at the bar. Oh, yeah. You know what Pam loves? Beer. Let me buy a beer and give it to her. Oh, my inventory's full. Dang it. This always happens to me. I really got to get that bigger backpack at Pierre's. I don't think I have enough money for it, though, yet. Shane also likes it when you gift him beer. Alex lifts heavy, if you didn't know. Oh, there's Harvey. I should go say hi to him since... Oh, no. He's going into the bar. Hey, 
basically I'm just wandering around. So sorry if anyone was expecting to like, I don't know what you might have been expecting to see me play, but I'm just wandering around. Yes, you are right. The fishing gets way better when you have better poles. That is very true. Um, no, I want to keep the G out because I need to take that to the blacksmith. Okay. Um, let's just chop some stuff down today. Um, yeah, basically anything that you upgrade uh, makes your life easier. You can upgrade your hoe. My axe isn't strong enough to break the stump, so yeah, I can upgrade my axe eventually. Um, all of that stuff really helps your progress. Um, but, you know, it takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither was Gleanland Farm. Why can I not... Ah. Uh... Although I feel like half the game for me is like not having the right tools in my hand. <laughs> hey, Lucky Stina. So happy to see you. Thanks for joining us. I'm just, uh, uh, Christina, this is my first solo stream. So I'm like really excited about it. Um, because normally Donald does all the tech stuff and he did have to come in earlier and help me with the technology because <laughs> I messed up. Um, and I'm not familiar with it, so I didn't know how to troubleshoot. Um, and he's a great partner that way. But yeah, this is my first solo stream. Today is Giving Tuesday. So we are playing Stardew Valley in support of Glean Kentucky. Um, and yeah, Glean Kentucky does such fun work, y'all. Um, the volunteer experience is so fun. Um, one of my favorites is volunteering to glean at the local farmer's market. So basically you show up at the end of the farmer's market and you walk around and talk to all the farmers who love us, um, who love Glean Kentucky. And um, they give you what produce they would like to donate, things that didn't sell that day, um, that, you know, they don't have another way to sell um, before it would go bad. Um, so they do that and... Um, then you deliver it straight to people who need it, which is so cool. Um, and so I love that. Um, that's like one of my favorite ways to volunteer with them. I was sharing earlier though, that because of COVID, we started also delivering hot meals, which isn't our normal mission, um, but needed to be done. And so we just started delivering hot meals this year for a short period of time. I'm going to go to sleep for the night. Um... And yeah, so um, I got to volunteer doing that as well. Okay, so I've leveled up on my axe proficiency. Very cool. Level one foraging. Um, trees sometimes drop seeds. I have a new crafting recipe for wild seeds and I have a new crafting recipe for a field snack. So those are good to have. The field snack is good to have in your backpack if you are doing a lot of physical labor because um, I don't know if you've notice my energy bar like it was pretty low at the end of the day um and if if you're out and about and doing too much work and your energy gets low you pass out um and so it's nice to have a little snack to bring you back uh thanks thanks christina i'm actually on the board of glean kentucky so i'm very passionate about it um and i've been on their board for a couple years i'm the board chair this year um and i just love it it's a great organization and a great way to use my time Okay, another tip. Check for spring onions southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Okay, that's a great place to forage. Okay. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Clear and sunny all day. Guess what? It's sunny today. That means I have got to do some watering. Hey, get away, scarecrow! Man, he ate one of my plants. So rude. I think I can grow a scarecrow. So I just came to my little pond to fill up my water. I'm just going to water everything. And then I guess I'm going to see if I what I need to grow a scarecrow. Because I'm not about that crow eating my crops. It's very rude. 
So yeah, there is a link circling through um, and you can do exclamation point donate for it to pop up. Um, and if you would like to donate, we would love it, of course. Um, okay, I'm gonna hit E. Here's my crafting. I don't think I have the recipe for a, um, what you call it yet, a scarecrow yet. Here are my collections. These are all, so it kind of shows you all the stuff that you can grow or collect and the few bits that I have collected so far, not a lot. Um, oh, here are my options. Oh, show tool hit. This is what you guys are saying. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm going to do that. Okay. Excellent. 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 Um, so what am I doing today? Friends, what do I need to do? I don't even know. Oh, I do want to go take this geode over to get, um, broken. He breaks it for you. Ah, thank you, uh, Christina, for getting that link in the chat. Um, all those donations will go straight to Glean. Um, I also feel like, like, maybe, does the bus not work right now? Does it? Nothing happens when I try and get on the bus. I just watered the bus. There's lots of things in this town, like, it's, I love this game, but I'm also, like, always kind of laughing, like, Everything in this town is in disrepair until I come and fix it, um, which obviously is the basis for the game. So that makes a lot of sense, but it just kind of makes me laugh. I'm like, so the bus just doesn't work. The little trolley carts don't work. So I'm going to come to Pierre's. It's locked. It opens at 9 a.m. It's only 8.30. Okay, gotcha. Hey, dude. What do you want? Leave me alone. Sorry, Shane. I think Shane might be an alcoholic, possibly. The only time he's happy is when he's drinking. Um, but I don't know. I don't know his personal life. That's just a an assumption on my part, which I guess I shouldn't make. This is Penny. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. So true. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Maybe I need to marry Penny because she sounds like real life me. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Sorry, I got carried away there. No problem, Penny. So, uh, let's see. It's said to forage where the river meets the ocean. Is that here? Where's where the river meets the ocean? I'm not really sure what that means. I'm just trying to forage for something cool. <laughs> Okay, I think this is where, yeah. Process geodes. What'd I get? That looks cool. Celestine, cool. Ooh, Malachite, very cool. Awesome, awesome. So we also, we don't have it up today because we were going to focus on the um, fundraising goals, but we also have um, some new subscriber goals for the end of the year. We're hoping to get to 20 subscribers um, in 2020, which would be pretty cool. Okay, so here's the thing. In this game, you kind of have to make like a moral choice. Are you going to shop small at Pierre's? Or are you going to shop at Joja Mart? Um, the prices are a little cheaper, but is that what you want for your town? Um, and I have to say, I'm going local. Um, but we will, we'll hop in there. We'll just see what, we'll just see what's in there. Uh, oh, I just watered things. <laughs> Oh, you can just look at all the all the products they have. Synthetic butter. It's cheap. So true. Grade D cooking oil. Fresh and cheap. Sugar-free lollipop. Silly sauce. Okay, I would probably buy that if that was an option. That does sound kind of fun. Uh, can you talk to this guy? Oh, it's Shane. 
Okay, I didn't know Shane worked there. Can I talk to this guy? Morris. He's gonna try, this is gonna be a sales pitch. He says, when you decide to become a JoJo member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Okay, sir. I'm good. I don't think I need what you're selling. But now we checked it out. I'm just seeing what there is to see, seeing where I can forge. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit! Did you guys see that? That was fun. I like that a lot. Okay, earlier I was trying to forage where the river meets the ocean. I don't really know what that means. Here's the river. And when you cross this bridge, you get to the ocean. So do I need to go down here? It did say, did, I think maybe it said southwest. So this, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Oh, I love your little bunny emote. So cute. So cute. This is maybe Leah's house. We're just gonna... It's locked. Only Leah's friends can enter uninvited. That seems very wise and fair. <laughs> maybe I'll just fish while I'm here. See what there is to catch. Uh, trash. Cool, cool, cool. So peaceful. That was your cousin you saw, Bush Bun. <laughs> Y'all, I like this view right here because you can really see my mohawk. Um, This is so hard, y'all. Ah! He stopped fighting. He tried to get away, but I got him. It was a chub. Thank you, chub. Let's go one more time. Might as well find some good fishy fishes. Fishy fish, fishy fish. Oh, you know what I meant to do today was get more seeds so I could plant more stuff at my farm. I'm really not very good as a farmer. I, like, have only planted the free parsnip seeds I got. Ooh, another chub. A new record. 15-inch chub. That's what she said. That's my joke today. I don't know why. I just can't help it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I find this game, like, just fun and relaxing. You can just, like chill out and play it. You can fish, you can farm, a Joja can. Cool. Um, how do I throw it in the trash? I got some. Oh, hi. Do I, what should I gift her? Let's gift her a dandelion. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. I'm wooing her. Tell me where to look. Lee. Oh, she. Oh, I forgot. She, Lee loves salads as a gift. Tuck that away in our memory banks in case we do want to marry her later. I'm just seeing what there is to see. Exploring. Seeing if I can forage anything. If I meet any other weird people. What is this? It looks abandoned. Okay, cool. I'm just tooling around. So yeah, I do, I like a lot of things about this game because I just think it's like kind of relaxing. Uh, Michelle says salad is not a gift. Well, it is if you're Lee. She's very 
into salad. Oh, here's the things they were talking about. I think spring onions. Woohoo! I found all the spring onions. Oh, no, don't eat it. Pick this one up. No. Oh, do I not have room for those anymore? No, stop with the eating of the spring onions. I'm not trying to eat them. I'm trying to pick up more. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my inventory is full. I need that backpack. Can I? There's nothing here I can get rid of. Okay. Well, I got a lot of spring onions. That was good. That was really what I was sort of trying to accomplish, but also like wasn't too stressed out about it. Ew. Gross. Ooh, I can walk down there? That's disgusting. Why did I do that? How do I pick up this trash? People are so rude in this world. Like, come on, Pelican Town. Get your ish together. You live in paradise. Don't trash it. People make me mad. Um, so what have I not told you about Glean, Kentucky yet? Um, so I mentioned that, uh, we're celebrating our 10th year early in the stream. So some of you may not have counted, uh, caught it. Um, we actually this year celebrated, um, our 2 millionth pound glean. So we have gleaned in our 10 years over 2 million pounds of produce that otherwise would have ended up in the landfill. Um, it's kind of crazy, but 40% of food is wasted. Um, and here in Kentucky, one in six people are facing food insecurity. And so that's really why, um, uh, why Glean was founded was because we wanted to alleviate both of those problems. Um, because there's really no reason why, um, people should be going hungry while we're wasting so much food. I mean, there's no reason people should be going hungry, period. Um, but especially while we're wasting so much food. Um, and so, okay, what am I doing? Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Um, and so, yeah, it was a huge achievement. Uh, thank you, Katie. Um, we actually, it's interesting. I've been part of the organization for, I think like a little less than three years. And in that three years, we've hit both a million pounds and 2 million pounds. So that's how, how much we're growing. We have tons of volunteers who work with us. The staff is just top notch. Um, just excellent, excellent staff. Um, oh, Linus isn't here. I was going to come say hi. Um, but yeah, so we're just really fortunate and doing a lot of really good work. And, um, you know, I think this year has been super challenging for many, many nonprofits um, Glean included for lots of reasons. Um, but I'm so proud to be part of an organization that, um, got really creative, um, sought out some new funding streams, um, worked really hard, continued to do all the work that we normally do and did things like deliver hot meals, um, to families in need, which isn't something we would normally have done. Um, and they also, we just hired a part-time field coordinator in South Central Kentucky, so in um, Bowling Green. So we're basically expanding where we serve. Um, and that field coordinator, in the short time she has worked with us, has already, um, um, yes, Clint, I told you something, um, has already um, started gleaning in the Bowling Green area, which is awesome. So we love that. Pam has been looking forward to that beverage all day. He does not want to talk to me. A talking bubble doesn't even come up. I kind of forget what these games are. Let's try them out. Ooh, Journey of the Prairie King. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to move and shoot. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> I died again. I told you I'm not very good at video games. <laughs> I've got to get out of their way. They move way faster than I think they're going to. 
Y'all, I cannot even. We're, we're just going to quit that one. Let's see, what's this game? There's a skull-shaped keyhole. Oh, I don't, I don't have permission yet. Okay. Oh, it's 10 p.m. It's late. I barely used up any of my energy today. That means I did not do enough manual labor. <laughs> you know what happens sometimes. Let's just look right quick if there's anything here I can forage. It's kind of dark, so it's hard to see. I don't see anything forageable. Just figured why not while I'm out and about. Excellent, excellent. I think I'm going to go in to go to bed. I think um, I'm going to play one more day today. Um, and then probably call it a night. It is Bachelorette night, so I would like to watch the last half of it. <laughs> Priorities. Um, but I really appreciate everyone hanging out with us today. Um, it's been really fun so far. Um, ooh, let's see. Um, and I appreciate everyone um, who supported Glean. To our valued Joja Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the Mountain Lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. So I think that means I can go to the cave, but hold on. Let's see what the spirit said. I didn't check the fortune teller because I didn't think it mattered. The fear, spirits feel absolutely neutral today. Okay, so that's better than them. So if you if the spirits are feeling like negative, then it often means bad things. Ooh, my parsnips are ready. Woohoo! I really do have to get some more seeds <laughs> and plant something else. I really should have done that already. Awesome! Yay, parsnips! That's very exciting. And we should uh, water these couple mystery plants. I'm going to go ahead and... Can I sell things at Pierre's? I think I can. Um, he's not going to be open yet, though. Let's see what my journal entry says. Advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase your profit. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious cups. I have to reach farming level one. I need to build a coop. Okay... And I have gotten my um, parsnip, so I get some money for that. I've met 20 of the 28 people. That's pretty good, actually, I think. Um, oh, Michelle, Katie, and Christina for your donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that is so kind and generous of you. I really appreciate it. Um, Glean appreciates it. We will put that money to really good use. Um, and I'm excited. Um, I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, my overall goal for the month of December, um, like me personally as the board chair is to raise a thousand dollars, which is a lot and is kind of intimidating to me. Um, but I really just felt like this was the year I needed to step up my game and do whatever I could, um, to help support this organization that I love. Um, and so streaming is just one part of that. Um, but thank you all. We decided that we wanted to use this platform, especially since it's Giving Tuesday. Um, we wanted to use this platform to um, to fundraise. So thank you for helping us do that. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, oh, and Anonymous. Thank you, Anonymous, whoever you are. We love you too. <laughs> no, we really do appreciate it. And I understand that this is a hard year um, for a lot of us in terms of money. Um, and so that makes your gifts, uh, even more precious to me, um, and to us at Glean. So thank you so much, um, for that. I'm going to put my wood in there. Okay. I have a hundred wood. I have a feeling I need like a lot more to build a coop. I don't really know though, but I thought I would also pick up my, pick up my acorns and things. Um, 
So yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for your donations. It means so much. Um, and we're going to do another charity stream a little later in the month. We just haven't 100% decided um, what we're doing for that. But once we do, uh, we'll let y'all know. Um, it'll probably be like, maybe it'll be Among Us or maybe it'll be um, Jackbox or something kind of more more fun and party-like as opposed to this one. But um, yes, and thanks Streamlabs for being busted so we could not show you uh, your things in real time. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, oh, well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Oh, sigh. Here, let's go inside. Thank you, Katie. We get to see inside the community center finally. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz have must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Oh, look at him. What? Oh, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Meatball scared, y'all. You're worrying me, Meatball. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so this does become a big part of the game is exploring the community center. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I really want to go to Pierre's. Where am I? <laughs> I really want to go to Pierre's and buy some more seed. I want to sell these um, or donate them to Gunther. Um, and I even want to check out the caves. There's just so much to do today. It heard me say I was just going to play one more day. I'm going to buy some more parsnips. I'm going to buy some beans. Um and some cauliflower. Okay. That's quite enough. Thank you, Pierre. I know, it's so busy today. I feel like the last few days I've just been like literally just wandering around and now I'm like, oh wait, I got stuff to do. Hey dude. What's up, farmer guy? <laughs> it's my day for doing push-ups. Every time I do push-ups, I try to do one more than the last time. Pretty cool strategy, huh? So cool, Alex. <laughs> Bless his little heart. Hey, kid. Okay, you're right. That's weird for me to talk to you. <laughs> like, never in real life would I just walk up to a strange kid and talk to them. So, probably shouldn't do it now. Okay. 
Cool. I done donated. What are the... I can't remember what these books are. There's a book missing here. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to find those books. They really count on me to do everything. <laughs> Alex, bro, know your audience. I lift heavy, dude. Um... Oh, I could also sell this fish to Willy. I think I could put, like, the fish in the box. Um, but I just feel like I want to sell it directly to Willy. Ooh, there's cool stuff to pick up. Yeah. I also saw some. Oh, hey, Elliot. The fresh air of this valley is good for body and mind. So true. A quick stroll outdoors always invigorates me. I like you, Elliot. You're a cool dude. Oh, I can sell him this oyster and this mussel, too, while I'm here. That's nice. Glad I picked those up. Fish in a box. Christine, I don't think you were here when Willie told us, If it smells, it sells. <laughs> this just made me laugh. Uh, I was just trying to see what these birds are doing. Hey, guys. <laughs> I made them fly away. I would do that in real life, too. Okay, let's see what's under here. A book! I found a lost book. The library has been expanded. Why are people burying all these books in the sand? That is weird. <laughs> I forget what you have to do. With 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. That's a lot of wood. Noted. But then I can get over there and pick up all this cool stuff. Okay. What am I still trying to do? I'm trying to reach level one of farming. I'm trying to... Oh, I need to build a coop. I'm trying to greet more people. There's so much to do. So much cool stuff. I just saw Nightbot put in there about the merch store. I said earlier we got our shirts today. So Donald and I each got like two shirts and a sweatshirt. So um, super excited. We're going to be like styling and profiling on um, our stream from now on. Where am I going? I would like to go see if I can get in the cave. That's what that announcement made me think. But I'm not positive. I don't remember the most direct route, but I'm just going to go up and over and hope I find it. Hey, birds! Yeah, I think this is the right way. I'm actually sort of surprised how much I remember of the map. Um, oh, wait. I think she's the carpenter. What can I do for you? Shop. Oh, you can buy wood stones and stuff. Okay. How about construct farm buildings? For a coop, I need 4,000 gold. Well, I have 800, so we are a little behind on that. 300 wood and 100 stone. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, wait. Is this a person I've said hello to yet? Hold on. Ah. Oh, wait. I also don't think I've met him yet. Have I? Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Yay, science! We love science. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Mora? She's interested to meet you. No, I haven't. Is she the one who just left without saying hello? I think, like, as you get to know people, you can, like, go back in their house and open their doors and stuff. I'm not good enough friends with Robin or Demetrius to enter their bedroom. That is fair. Wait, do they have a downstairs? Oh! I don't think I knew that. Okay. I didn't know that was Sebastian's bedroom down there. Interesting. Sometimes you gotta be nosy in this game. Figure out what's what. Someone's chopping something. Oh, there's Linus. I want to go say hello to him. I don't have anything good to gift him, though. Um, which I wish I did. A stranger. Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. 
I really wish I had something to give him. You can hear the fire crackling, though. That's very nice. This is one thing that makes me not like Pelican, Pelican Town very much, is Linus uh, will probably later tell us that people are mean to him, and I don't like that. Oh, look! Okay, so in here is the cave, and there's also like a little Adventurer's League right here, I think. Proven adventurers only. I can't go in there yet. Same thing with this. This lets you like mine stuff. Ooh, here's something good. A little horseradish. Oh, a leek. Looks the same. I don't know. Okay. Let's just check out the cave. I don't have much time. Um, because I still want to plant some stuff, but... Marlin. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Ooh. Here, take this. You might need it. A sword! You received a rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Okay, Marlin. Um, I should probably get the sword handy, actually. So... Oh, I should also have my pickaxe. I can just... Honestly, my inventory's too full for this. This was really silly of me. I just wanted to come down here. But I probably shouldn't because... If I find anything good, I don't have anywhere to put it. Like that. Hold on. Let me... I'm gonna throw the stone away. There we go. I want to pick up the gold. Yes. Oh, copper. It wasn't gold. Still, it's cool. I want it. Okay. I just really wanted to come in here today because um, I said that I could, <laughs> but I didn't really plan it well. You should really come when you don't have much in your inventory so you can collect as much stuff as possible. But, you know, whatever. I'm going to say hello to Linus again and give him this leak. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're welcome, Linus, buddy. Can I go that way? What does that lead to? Oh, yeah, this leads back to my house. This is the shortcut that I forgot about. I just found some wild horseradish. That's I just love, like, wandering around in this game and picking up random stuff. It's so fun. Okay... Let me get to Holen again. Oh, no. my! I was afraid that my... If you don't plant anything for a while, your your um, your garden plot like kind of disappears. We're just going to water everything. Do, do, do. This has been like a very successful day. Sold some stuff. Out of water for my last one. Of course. Okay. Let's put my copper ore in there. Oh, wait. I can change the colors, too. That's fun. Obviously, we want a purple. A purple trunk. Or do we want this, like, teal? It stands out nicely. But I am more inclined to purple. Oh, thank you, me handlebars. Good reminder to hydrate. Hydration is happiness. I'm a big fan. 
of hydration and happiness. <laughs> okay, let's put my wild horseradish in the box. I'm just going to chop some more stuff down because I know I'm going to need more wood uh, while I have a little time. Look at that giant bird. Uh, while I have some time and some energy left. That kind of like, if I don't have like a major plan, um, usually at the end of the day I just start like chopping wood or um, using the pickaxe or something just to uh, use any energy that I have left and collect supplies. Can I scroll to select different items in your bar? In, down here? Um, right now I only have 12 slots, but, uh, oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> I didn't know that. I probably did know that when I used to play, but it's really been quite some time since I played. Um, they're actually about to come out with a 1.5 um, update, and we think that'll let us play... Um, co-op split screen. We can play co-op right now, but on different devices. Um, yes, uh, you can do it, Mihan. You are correct. Um, but so we're, we're hoping that eventually Donald and I can um, play together and stream together um, on one device, which would be kind of fun. Okay. Oh, I'm starting to feel exhausted. That does happen when you chop wood all night. Okay. Let me put my stuff away. Okay, and we'll go to bed. Okay, friends. Go to sleep for the night. I think I am going to... Um, ooh, I got my level one... Farming efficiency. That means now I can build a scarecrow. Yay, I'm so excited. This is what hooks me in of the game. Like, I knew I wanted a scarecrow. Now I'm allowed to build one. So, like, part of me wants to just keep playing so I can build a scarecrow. But I had told myself I was going to stream for an hour and a half. And it's been almost two hours. Um, so I'm going to um, cut myself off now. Um, but I do think I will try and find another time to stream um, and get a little farther with this farm. So you all can kind of come along for the journey with me uh, because I'm really enjoying it. Um, and again, I am so appreciative for everyone. Um, oh, I got some good money from my parsnips. Um, I'm so appreciative of everyone um, watching today. It was my first solo stream, so that's exciting. But even more importantly, um, it is... Um, it was all in support of Glean Kentucky. So I appreciate those of you who donated. And again, I'm sorry that we didn't have the notifications working um, because Streamlabs uh, wasn't being our friend on that. Um, and I, Donald taught me how to raid and I don't remember now. Um, I don't think I pulled up that. Um, I don't think I pulled up that page. Um, how do I do it from here? I'm trying to remember. Um, he taught me yesterday, but I feel like I had a different page pulled up and I don't remember what it was. Um, so I am, I guess, not going to raid, unfortunately, because I don't remember how to do it. Um, but thank you all so much. This was so much fun. Um, I had a really great time. And again, thank you so much for the donations to Glean. That means so much to me. Um, you're, this isn't the last you're going to hear of Glean. We're going to be talking about it. Oh my God. <laughs> you all, Donald, like very quietly, or maybe not so quietly, but I have these headphones on, came into the room and I just like saw him out of the corner of my eye um, and scared me. Yeah, I wanted to raid. Oops, oops, that's not what I meant to do. My bad. Um, yes. Go to Twitch. Oh, that's what it was. I couldn't remember what website I go to. Um, go to the far right. He's teaching me. Click on that. Creator dashboard. Creator dashboard. I should have had this pulled up before the stream. I'm when sorry, you all. Up, hit mute as soon as it pulls up. It's muted. Okay, perfect. Over to the right side, raid channel. Aha! Aha! Come here, Paula. I'm gonna raid my friend Paula! Okay, thank you all. Um, 
Yes, I wasn't in Stream Manager. That was the issue. Um, I was confused. Uh, but we are reading Paula Dimming, who's actually one of my friends from college and is like really cool and kind of famous, uh, which is really awesome. So um, feel free to stop in and say hello to her. Thank you all so much. Good night.